left Chiang Mai after a couple of days to head to Pai with a scooter. Taking a short break. The drive that just looks like this. It's pretty amazing. We plan to stay five days in Pai and then head over to a Buddhist monastery in Mahum Song. And this will be home for the next five days. Feeling a bit emotional. Oh, so happy to be here. I can't really believe that I was here with one of my best friends and I'm here with you. <laughs> I look, I'm really just very grateful for everything and I'm soaking in every single moment. It's, it's really beautiful. Pai is truly a beautiful little city in the mountains and we strongly recommend everyone who's traveling to Thailand to go. Our second day in Pai. The world truly is a small place. So, oh. Soprattutto lui. Lui, vai, fist bump. Fist bump. <laughs> Chicken and pork. <laughs> <laughs> Ma guarda perché, guarda perché, adesso capisci. Si è diventato anche mongoloide nelle cadene. Non ha battuto la testa, vai cazzo. La sua intelligenza lui l'aveva nel gomito. <laughs> right, so we just arrived at the Pai Grand Canyon. We've been lucky actually because it was a bit raining on the way. But it's sunny now, so let's explore. This is amazing, but crazy hot. I didn't expect it to be so hot. So Rob is just going to grab some water and we're gonna go, I think, explore a little bit further. So I've just came from over there. I did this little path and I'm here now. It's incredibly <laughs> scary. Where are you coming? Come on! Oh. I'm, I'm going back. It is beautiful. But. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. The secret is you don't enjoy the view. <laughs> Just go straight. <laughs> How is it going so far? So far. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like that at least. <laughs> It looks like you're having some hard Been time. Like two meters, <laughs> but yeah, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> it's like so steep and um, and slippery and dangerous. Cause like, for fuck's sake, look at that! Imagine this course. And uh, Robbie told me so many stories about people dying over there. Just one, so. yeah, just one. They told me well, the stories. That made an impact. And the beauty of traveling is the people that you meet along the way. Catwalk, come on. <laughs> okay, I think I broke one of these. <laughs> By the way, Nico and Sam, we met them today, and it happened to be his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm flashing, I'm flashing. <laughs> birthday to Sam! Happy birthday to you! Ali, vogliamo, we want to know how you feel the day before the monastery. Nervous, anxious. What? The next question is, what do you think you will miss the most? Asking this question just because I know how of a foodie you are. A fool. <laughs> a foodie. Oh. You like your pizza every week. Okay. Well, we will see if there will be any change in the things 
Probably like uh, all the, the things that makes me comfortable, like. Oh. Kapunka. Ellie can't speak anymore. She's about to throw up. sleep in that bed. I woke up so many times. I, I got to move because I had the rise of in less than half an hour. This place is actually so huge. It has its own rice field, it has its own vegetable field and plenty of fruit trees everywhere. Here we can see Elena Cambio in her own habitat. Your mind will appear at those. Good morning. So today is the 1st of July and yesterday I took to the station and this is going to be my last day. How do you feel knowing that today is my last day? and you still have a week to go. I'm definitely gonna miss Ellie, of course. Yes, we spend 24 hours a day together, but it's never heavy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna miss her. But of course, I'm gonna miss Robbie. <laughs> I have mixed feelings, I'm a bit confused. Uh, yesterday in the evening, I was very, very sure to leave. Now, today is a new day. And of course, I feel like, oh, I could do it. But I've done everything I wanted and it's time for me to leave and I feel a bit sad but we're gonna be together in a week it's gonna be fine what did you miss the most uh, the last three days I think I've missed just driving around with the scooter to be honest I love that I love just uh, being able to do that in Thailand is something else something that I recommend to everyone it's it's such a beautiful experience just feeling free driving beautiful landscapes everywhere um, having my best friend on the back, enjoying the music, I miss that. Just like the freedom of doing whatever I want. Basically here there is a timetable to respect, which is amazing. But at the same time, like we are now in the middle of our travel and every morning we, we wake up and we discover, we, we drive around, we, we just do whatever we want. What is the biggest takeaway after this experience? I think mind is a weapon and I am going to master this in these 10 days, trying to really put all my effort into achieving the set of goals that I've got for myself. From this experience, I'll take away the... Um, I'm acknowledging the fact that um, I'm struggling to switch off my mind unfortunately and uh, keeping that in mind I'll try and practice as much as I can meditation bye bye <laughs> it's time to leave for me For sure, the freedom. <laughs> you heard that? I did. Go where? Just where the noise came from. No, I go the opposite. <laughs> Paolo? No. Curcumin. <laughs> Min? Merik. Min? <laughs> Min? Min? Curcum. <laughs>